at least five sources. What does it mean? Quotes from real assignments. Here are some quotes from real assignments from SI teachers, and you've probably seen some version of these on an assignment that you've been given. Includes a wide variety of, of appropriate, well-researched and informative sources and has well-edited quotes from expert sources. Minimum of four sources, no Wikipedia. You need five different sources. Use a minimum of three sources. You may not use Wikipedia as a listed source. So what exactly is a credible source? In general, your teachers want you to find credible sources. Credible sources can be found in many different places and forms, but if you're not sure where to begin when looking for a credible source, here are some options an expert on a subject, a publication that is trusted and has a rigorous editorial process, a peer-reviewed scholarly article. Let's take a look at each. An expert on a subject. An expert on a subject can be an excellent source, but how do you know if a person is an expert? Someone who has studied a sub subject extensively or has a great deal of experience related to a subject can be an expert. Here are some things to look for. Are any advanced degrees listed with the author's name? Who is the author affiliated with or where do they work? Is their field of work related to the article subject? You can always do a Google search of the author's name in quotation marks to see if you can find their bio, a professional website, or a LinkedIn page. A publication that is trusted and has a rigorous editorial process. Articles from newspapers and magazines and websites can be credible sources, but they are not all created equal. Some may not fact check their work and most have varying degrees of bias. The trick is to find one that is careful to avoid both of these pitfalls through their editorial process. These are some criteria to tip you off as to whether a source is credible and likely has a rigorous editorial process. What's their reputation and do you know about their bias? Publication and, well, and website is can be well respected and known for providing factual, fair, and balanced reporting. Is it fact-based? Does it rely on facts, quotes from experts, and information that can be verified, as opposed to emotionally charged subjective statements? Cite sources. Does the article cite sources that they used? External support. This means they include information or ideas that can be confirmed by other reputable sources. Peer-reviewed scholarly articles, the gold standard. You've probably heard a lot about peer review in the news lately, but what does it mean? One of the key differences between scholarly journals and popular sources like magazines and newspapers is that articles submitted for publication in scholarly journals go through a peer review process. That's what the infographic on the screen demonstrates. After this review of the article by experts in the field, the author's peers, that the journal editors, based on the reviewer's comments, determine if the article should be accepted or rejected or revised. If you search for a scholarly journal article in a library database, you can often filter your results just to show peer review articles only. The next time your teacher says you need credible sources, you'll know what to look for. Information from an expert on a subject, publication that is trusted and has a rigorous editorial process, and or a peer-reviewed scholarly article. So much for watching and if you need help, don't forget you can always email me, Ms. Brancoli or Ms. Wenger at, uh, by emailing si underscore librarians at siprep.org.